homemade mozzarella sticks today. It's very easy to make. Um, I had a block of mozzarella cheese, not the fresh that's kind of soft and gooey that you slice with tomatoes. This is the block of mozzarella cheese and I sliced it into sticks that look like the same size as mozzarella sticks, so that's simple enough. They're all sliced. What I'm going to do is combine breadcrumbs. I have one and a half cups of breadcrumbs and I have one and a third cups of Parmesan cheese that's finely grated. I'm going to add a little salt, one teaspoon salt. And I'm going to mix this up so this is a coating for your breadcrumbs. The thing with this recipe is the breadcrumb, the mozzarella sticks have to go in the freezer for two hours for the coating to adhere to them really good before you do the frying, the deep frying. So you need to plan ahead a little bit for that amount of time. And it can be two hours on up to probably the day before once they're in there frozen. So you could actually make a whole huge batch of these and have them in the freezer and take them out when you want to make just a few for an appetizer. So that's our coating mixture. And I have three eggs. It's going to be a total of four eggs beaten. And that's going to make the breadcrumbs stick to the cheese. You beat this up really well. And then you're doing coating it twice. So we'll go egg, breadcrumb, egg, breadcrumb. Okay, let's see. We'll pour the eggs in here just because this is easier to get the cheese in and out. I'm going to coat the mozzarella sticks now. So it's a pretty simple process. It's gonna go in the egg mixture, coat it well. And then in the breadcrumb, and you want to like smush the breadcrumbs on there really good. So you can see that's a nice, that's a nice coating right there, but you're going to do it one more time. And then these will go in the freezer a minimum of two hours, because you don't want the coating to come off when you're deep frying them. That would not be a mozzarella stick. So there's one. And I always keep one hand clean in case I need to reach for something extra. If I need to add a little more breadcrumb for whatever reason, or cheese. So I kind of just have one messy hand and one clean hand. Um, it just seems to make things work a little better. So there we go, back in the egg, and then back in the cheese and the breadcrumbs. This is pretty easy. And then, like I said, you can take them out when you want to fry them up. So I'm going to keep doing this until I have my tray filled and I'm going to put the tray in the freezer. Make sure you get those ends too. The whole idea is not to have the cheese ooze out. Okay, last one. All done. Now I'm going to put them into the freezer for a minimum of two hours. Lee showed me a good way to test if my oil is hot enough to fry off the mozzarella sticks. You take a piece of bread, any kind of bread, drop it in, and you can see it's bubbling up, and you can see how fast that it browns up and crisps up, and then you'll know how your food's going to cook. So it's a really good tip. Um, I've heard of other people sticking a wooden spoon in, and if it bubbles up around the handle of the wooden spoon, but I kind of like this one because I can see how this bread is toasting up and it's cooking up very, very quickly. So I think my hot oil is ready for the mozzarella sticks. So I'm gonna put them in. They've been in the freezer for over two hours and I'm not gonna try to fry all of these at once. And be careful when you're laying them in there. Don't, I mean, this is very hot oil, so in there gently and don't put in any I wouldn't put any more than you're willing to babysit all at one time I'm just gonna do four let them sit for a minute kind of remembering how long it took for that bread to brown and then I will roll them over and it isn't gonna take all you want to do is get the crust of which that one already is fabulous And you do want the, you know, them to be cheese to melt inside. Give them a few minutes. So this will 
be done in quite a few batches, but I'm okay with doing a few at a time. And they're gonna come out and drain on a paper towel, and then I'll put them on a pretty plate. I'm going to serve them with just some typical marinara sauce. Um, it's usually what you find mozzarella sticks paired with, but if there's something else you like better, definitely go for it. These are gonna be delicious. And they're getting a nice golden color. And the cheese is not oozing out, which is a good thing. Oh, these look yummy. Okay, I'm seeing now little places where the cheese is starting to bubble out. So I'm assuming the inside is done, and I believe it is. Oh, yeah. So depending on your oil, this is where you want to get them out of the fryer, out of your frying pan. I don't have a lot of oil in here. It's probably only about that deep. But this is a nice, heavy cast iron pan, perfect thing for doing this in. And I'm just hit them, you know, a little tiny bit of salt. I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep frying these up, and then we will plate them up, and then we'll eat them.